Hi, this is my second video and it has to do with a dream I had this morning, September the 24th, 2016. I initially didn't pay attention to it. I got up and had my coffee and then I was thinking about it and the theme of the dream is a name, Jimmy Shalom. And uh, I just did a video with the dream and, and it disappeared. I don't know what happened to the video. So I comforted myself with some planters almond spice uh, nuts here to make myself feel better. Anyway, I have some new reading glasses on that I got today. Two for five dollars. Look at this. I showed you in the last video that is gone, obliterated. I don't know where it went, but I'm gonna wear. Uh, I'm gonna wear these. Anyway, um, I guess I don't need to wear them because I'm gonna say the dream. I'm not gonna read it this time. I'm watching in this dream this TV minister, and it looks like it's a few years old. The recording, and Mom and I are watching this uh, TV minister named Jimmy Shalom. No such thing in real life. And this Jimmy Shalom is kind of like my age and medium brown hair, short sleeve shirt, tie maybe, I don't know. And the set is very simple. But I don't know if he was kind of messianic or something, but my mom was familiar with this Jimmy Shalom. I wasn't. And we're talking about, well, maybe we should go see him uh, minister or, or watch this show or something. You know, we were talking about him. And then I remember, oh, even though I don't know really who he is, I said, he passed last week. I was there at his memorial. And then I just like suddenly remember that out of nowhere. Like we couldn't go see him because he passed last week. And I had commented before that that he did, didn't look well in the video. And uh, so we're discussing it. And apparently my mom doesn't want to probe into why he died, but I have an inquiring mind, and I'm wondering, like, why haven't they told us what happened, his family, you know, like, how he died or whatever. But it's funny that the week before that I was at his memorial, and don't know who he is, but this TV minister, I was at his memorial, and, uh, and it almost seems like he walked in the room during the memorial, but it was just in a room, you know, that that's the only flash I had in the dream when I'm like, oh, we can't go see him. He passed away last week. So anyway, my mom and I are arguing, and my curious mind is like, well, why wouldn't they say why he died, whatever, and and my mom just doesn't want to go there with that. And so anyway, that is kind of the first part. And then we are sitting at a golden corral, and we're still in the car and for some reason I'm painting my mom's either her fingernails or toenails but I only get one of her toes one of her feet or one of her hands done and it's this gloppy brown polish I don't know why that was in the dream so we're still arguing about this deal she's not wanting to be curious about why this Jimmy Shalom passed away but I have an inquiring mind so we're arguing anyway uh I don't know what that means, the nail polish and all that. But anyway, this airplane, we're out in front of Golden Corral, and, you know, Golden Corral is a buffet, and uh, Paul the Apostle did say, you know, I buffet my body daily, so it is scriptural. You know, buffets are scriptural. And uh, anyway, um, so this lady says, this, this, this big airplane goes down the street, like a big airplane just goes down the street in front of the Golden Corral. And this, this lady says, uh, um, I'm like, what is that? You know? And she says, like, well, don't you know they make, like, bullets or, I don't know if it's, like, weaponry, bullets, missiles. I don't know what was in that plane. She said, they, they make them here in town. Like, she was really surprised that I didn't know. And, um, I live in Tulsa. And, uh, she, I was, I was like, yeah, I didn't know. I mean, it was kind of surprised me. Like, wow, she was telling me, you know, yeah, you know, they make those here in Tulsa. So this big plane, it seems like it was full of them. The plane was either white or silver. And uh, so she was just surprised, you know, and I'm kind of like, wow, I'm, you know, right under my nose, they make this in town and I didn't know about it. Not that I'm in the know about everything. 
I'm finding out there's a lot of things I'm not in the know about. I never heard of Elite before. <laughs> there's just so many things. I didn't know any of this stuff that I've learned in the last two or three years. And, and it's kind of weird that I didn't, but I didn't. So anyway, I looked up Jimmy. And the name Jimmy means to supplant, replace, supersede, displace, take over, um, substitute or override, replace one thing with another, trip or overthrow, such as in governments and rulers of countries. This is oftenly, often done uh, sneakily. So to trip up, overthrow, defeat, dispossess. So that is what supplant means. And uh, that is the meaning of the name Jimmy. And then, of course, we know peace means shalom. So the only thing I can, the only conclusion I can come up with is that our peace is gone. Peace has been supplanted and replaced. And uh, we, the mystery of why this minister died, meaning why Jimmy Shalom is gone, it's still sort of a, a uh, mystery and maybe things that are hidden right now. I don't know. And uh, so that was my dream. Jimmy Shalom. Peace supplanted. Or supplanted peace. And in the big airplane in front of the Golden Corral that seemed to be full of bullets that they were making in town or weaponry or something. That obviously would represent kind of war or some kind of something. So, I just wanted to share that one with you, and uh, like I said, I lost my earlier one, which was probably better, but um, hopefully I won't lose this one. So, this one is called the Jimmy Shalom Dream. I have posted the boat dream, and uh, it's weird how there's been a real nautical theme in my dreams like that I'm reactivated or re-enlisted in the Navy. I've been having those for a long time. And uh, I had orders actually in one of my dreams to go to a ship on August the 18th of this year. And I feel like the fact that a date was given was kind of um, significant. And in the dream, I'm like, well, I'm not ready. I, I, I've i still got to move something with a house and move my mom or I don't know what it was. I bought a house. I don't know what it was, but maybe that represents, I don't know what it represents. And also my doggy, you know, kind of like, I'm not ready to leave my doggy yet. And uh, my orders were for August the 18th of this year, 2016. And uh, it seems like that date had a significance and it seems like there was some sort of transition that took place. I feel that the dreams that I'm back in the Navy are kind of about being activated in God's army, maybe coming to my purpose, maybe maybe the body begin to move, beginning to move in their purpose. You know, people really beginning to be activated in in the real war. You know, not just training anymore, but entering into the real thing. So anyway, this is video number two. Um, one last nautical thing is uh, last week I was at my neighbor's house with my mom. We were, my neighbor wanted to watch this Beach Boys video. And honestly, I don't watch TV hardly, but she had this older Beach Boy, meaning when they were older, more recent really, from a few years ago, Beach Boy concert. And they sang a song called Sail on Sail on Sailor. I found myself getting very emotionally upheavaled with that, upheavaled, upheavaled, whatever, and uh, later came home and listened to that song on YouTube various times, and I found myself crying, and I know that there are a few fleshly reasons why I would have been crying with that song, but the song also, to me, speaks of kind of when Paul talks in Second Corinthians 4, 8 to 12, that's like the only scripture that I actually know the numbers and chapters, I just never... Okay, I know John 3.16, but that's it. I just, well, no, I know, I guess I know a few more. I just can't remember chapters and verses. I'm good to remember the book. Well, anyway, um, you know, perplexed, you know, perplexed, but not this, this, but not this, you know, like we're still surviving even though we're, we're having such difficulties. We're not in despair. 
So I don't know what it is about that song, but I was very emotionally impacted. And maybe part of it was kind of my spirit as well. Something about the oceans or the seas. And I'm thinking about, um, and the way the devil has just taken people out. I mean, just destroyed people. And part of that was was from that, that um, you know, that watching that concert and then Googling a few of the Beach Boys and seeing where their lives went. And th so there's some, you know, just the, the devil just taking people out and, and uh, just wrecking their lives and then taking them out. I know that was part of it. But um, this nautical theme, the seas, the ocean, I don't know, but, but maybe it has to do with, with so many people talking about tsunamis and walls of water and various things coming that way. I don't know, but um, I even have a nautical beach towel that I've had a few years, and I was rearranging my closet, and I take out this big nautical beach towel with anchors. So I don't know what that's about, but something about water. Anyway, I'm going to just end this. My first video certainly was better, but I don't know where it went. So we'll see if I can get this one on. All right. Bear with me as I try to focus and do these. This is not as easy as it looks, is it? Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.